Hi, I'm Michal, uh, and I'm on a mission to track my family roots. I'm gonna take you in this journey together with me um, to try and uh, find details about my family. So my, uh, this is my great-grandmother, Sala. She was born in a Yugoslavia, ex Yugoslavia, a small town called Bitola, which is today in uh, Macedonia, our monastery. That's the Ottoman name. And I have very few memories from her. She passed away when I was five years old, more or less. Um, the only memory probably that I have is that she gives me biscuits when she was in the elderly house when we visited from a metal box. This is more or less what I remember from her. Uh, but I don't remember much. Um, <clears throat> uh, the thing is that uh, our family story starts in the early 20s when Sarah arrived, um, I don't know, probably in a ship or something, <laughs> um, from Bitola to what was then Palestine, Palestina or Israel. Um, and she arrives with her sister, Palomba, her younger sister. She was the oldest one. This is more or less what I know. Um, but we don't have much information about her family in Macedonia, in Bitola. We don't know anything about them. The only thing we know is that they passed away in the Holocaust. But in a very weird way, the Holocaust um, in, during the World War II is part, of course, of my Jewish story, but it was never part of my family story. And I was always uh, having lots of question marks about it. How come her entire family perished in the Holocaust um, and we don't know anything about them? We, were, we barely know their names. So I was very fascinated about that and curious to understand what, what, what actually happened there. And I've decided to take this journey and to delve into the details and try to put this puzzle together. I already did a lot of research. So in, this, in the next videos, I'm going <clears> to <throat> um, introduce you some of the findings that I found. <clears throat> I found lots, lots of very interesting stuff. But that's, I just want to put together maybe the things that I, I went to this journey with the information that I had. So one thing that I knew, of course, is that Sarah got married with a man called Nathanael Khonen. She was also Khonen, that's their, their <coughs> family name. And it indicates, and we know that they were relatives. How exactly they were relatives, we don't really know. So there's a big question mark about this, uh, what, what actually was their family connection. Uh, they got married in Israel. Uh, and they had six children, Dina, that's my grandmother, uh, her brothers, um, Benjamin, uh, Samuel, or Shmuel, Benjamin, Benjamin Shmuel, uh, Hannah, Yehuda, and Yaakov. Um, so, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Okay, so, um, Dina got married with my great-grandfather, Eli, who came from Tunisia. Another very interesting part of the family story that I have little information about, but that's maybe for later uh, episodes. Uh, and they got married, they had five children, Yaakov, I see some reputation already in the names. Nathan, this is my father. Um, Shlomo. And uh, Daria and Eyal. Each one of them had lots of kids, great family. Um, and Nathan got married with my mom, Frida. And I have four siblings and here I am. Now, I know a lot of information about this part of the family, but I know very little about this part and what happened previously. 
I do know that um, my grandmother and the community in Bitola are originally, my great-grandmother spoke Ladino, which is the Spanish language or the, the Spanish Jewish language. And the community in Bitola came originally from Spain. I didn't know that, but I don't know exactly when they arrived and what exactly happened. I don't know exactly where Netanel came from and if they were family, did he also came from Bitola or not. I know that he was married to another wife before he got married with my grandmother, but I don't know her name. So there's an, another question mark here. Who was she? I know that he has another, he had one son, and I know that he, that we are in touch, my, my family is in touch with his son. But there's a lot, a lot of question marks about him. When did he arrive? What happened exactly? And what was their relation? So this is one thing that I want to explore. I went on, I went to this uh, journey with uh, little, little information, as I said. The only thing, there's a, something very annoying with my family, that they are lovely people, great people, funny, hilarious people, but they don't preserve any documents, information, or anything about it. It was very hard for me to uh, find out information from them. I uh, asked many times my my father and his siblings, and also the, the siblings of my uh, grandmother who passed away more than 20 years ago, eh, Shmuel, Hannah, and Yehuda were still uh, alive with us, but they really cannot give me too, cannot give me too much information. So in this uh, project of mine, this mission that I have, I'm gonna sit on their neck and try to get as much information as I can, because uh, I believe every time that I speak with them, something new pop up and there's all kind of things that I'm sure that if, if we will do it uh, in a proper way, we can find more information. The only thing when I started this, other than knowing uh, this part of the story, I also knew the names of her parents, which is Hannah and uh, Shlomo, Shlomo. Uh, sorry, Samuel. Shmuel. Sorry, you cannot really see. I, I have a bad lighting. Um, so Hannah and Shmuel, you can see already that the names here repeat um, a lot. You can see it uh, Hannah and Hannah, Shmuel and Shmuel, uh, Nathan and Nathan, Yaakov and Yaakov. You can see all this, and actually in a Sephardic family, Sephardic it's, it's the, the Spanish origin Jews that came from Spain. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's very, uh, it's, it's a custom to name children after, um, family members who are still alive. So not only when they pass away, but also when they're still alive. So that's why when, when I was, uh, as much as I got deeper in this project, I realized that the names are the same names. I, it, it, I don't know if you read the, the book, uh, Hundred Years of Solitude, uh, um, which actually tells a, a family story, uh, and you know this feeling when you read this book that you don't know already which which uh, uh, General Bondia he's talking about it now, uh, which character he's related because everybody has the same name. So this is more or less the confusion that I got when I started to put this puzzle together. So. This, as I said, this is the main information I had. My great grandmother's parents. I knew where she was from. I knew she came in the twenties sometime. Uh, I know that my that my grand great grandmother and my great grandfather were relatives uh, somehow. Uh, I don't know how, and, but I don't know anything else. I know that that she had one sister. That's Palomba. And I know she had other siblings, but I didn't know which one. So you can see there is a lot, a lot of question marks here, right? Like, I don't know this. I don't know the name of, of this, this family. I don't know about Spain, anything. Lots of question marks. Spain, never mind. So this is uh, more or less the situation I've started this quest with. 
Um, in the next uh, next videos, I'm going to show you a little bit more of the research that I that I did. Um, trying to find out details also online, but also uh, speaking with people. So the, my research was also about uh, internet. Okay. It was, I, I used the internet, of course, there's a lot of information online. Uh, I used um, uh, interviews with people in my family. Uh, and I also traveled to Macedonia and I met fascinating people there in a very interesting town with lots, lots of Jewish uh, history uh, that lots of it is connected to my family. So this is more or less what I'm aiming to do in, this, in those videos. The thing that I think, I mean, I was asking myself, why is it interesting for other people? Why is it relevant? But actually, the more I got into it, I realized that this is not only the story of my family, but it's a very, very global story. It's uh, with in this world where so many people had to move out of their house, immigrate to other countries, uh, not only today, but also in the past, mainly in the past, and people change countries and identities and locations so much. There's so many, it's like, it's like a, a net that is being, uh, that, that been ripped out, and now I'm trying to wave it again. And I realize it's a story that many people in our world have, and, and there's a lot of things that I can tell about myself from the findings that I found, and I believe it can uh, shade light also on other people's stories. So I invite you to join me in this uh, journey. It's gonna be uh, very interesting, I hope, for you. Um, in the next videos, I'm gonna show you a lot of uh, uh, the things that I've already done, but also gonna find uh, new information and hopefully uh, try to get to new information that I didn't know about. Um, in order to complete that, there's a lot of travels I'd like to do, uh, other than the travel that I already did to Pitola, but I'm going to tell you about it in the next video. Um, there's a lot of uh, things that I can still do, and I'd love to have your support on it. So um, don't forget to subscribe. Tell about it to people that you know. Uh, you can also support me on Patreon if you, if you want to help me accomplish the mission that I, I'm up for. Uh, that's it. And mainly um, share it with your family. I think it's a very um, interesting uh, thing to do with your family and try to put the dots together. That's it. So until the next time, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Bye.